Hello, my little Aquariuses. We're going to be doing your reading for September 2023. Holy crap, this year is flying by. Do not forget to stay tuned for the whole entire video because not only do I do your tarot cards, but I also do your astro dice. I do your astrology, and then we have a huge, huge surprise. I'll probably show it to you halfway through. But let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. Aquarius, don't forget, Aquarius is just your sun sign. You have a moon sign and a rising sign also. That's going to be different no matter who you are So because you, you're going to need to know your birth date, your birth place, and your birth time. So if you got to call somebody to find that out, go do that and then go to Google and put all that information in. Aquarius, oh, don't forget we got these at the end. Oh my goodness, you got so many good cards here. Let's see what's going on. So it looks like there may have been some money issues. There may have been some relationship issues earlier on in the summer. So I'm going to say like early summer, maybe midsummer. This is September. I'm from the East Coast, so September to me is the fall. I know, I know it's like 21 days with summer left, but whatever. So this does show that in September, you're going to feel more in control, more in control of everything. Um, it also feels like you're going to feel wise and there may be some kind of a decision that is made. So if you have like a pending court case, if you have a pending like a uh, lawsuit, you have a pending, uh, I need to get a check from my old boss, something like that. Or if there is some kind of official documentation you are waiting for, this could be like a diploma. This could be a loan to come through. It looks like that is going to be on your head. That's going to be a big part of your September. And it looks like that is going to, that is going to happen. Um, just this real quick, the Aquarius, if you were having relationship issues in August, there may be a finalization. Like we tried to make it work. It's not going to work. Just know that, uh, this could be a friendship. This could be a business partnership. So either way, you know, play it how you got to play it, but do know that that is part of it. So again, back to September, it shows that something is going to come to fruition. Something is going to come through that you've been waiting for. You've been wishing for, you've been hoping for all that good stuff. Now, you're going to feel mentally strong. I think I'm going to say since mid, since mid summer into August, you were not feeling your best self. You were not like, I'm, I'm, I'm working on all gear. I'm, I'm firing on all cylinders. That was not you Aquarius, but that does start to come back in fall. It does start to come back. So that could be more toward the end of September. It could be in the beginning, you know, but, but I'm going to, I'm going to say after Labor Day, I'm going to say like once the kids are back in school and you can't wear white shorts anymore, that's when things are going to come back to normal. Also, don't worry about this relationship ending. And this can be business. This can be personal. This can be, you know, a million different things. Do not worry about this relationship over here ending because because you do have a foundation of the six of cups. This could actually mean that you move in with somebody because this, this is a card. If you see, it's the two people and they're planting flowers together. So this can mean that you move in with somebody. It could be as small as like a roommate, uh, or it could be as big as you get married. Now, if it's in business, this can mean that you are planting a seed with somebody new. You're starting a new business. You've got some new like entrepreneurial juices going. You got something um, you know, in, in the works, in the works, because this is a foundation card. So it is a bigger card. It's, it's a, it's a longer range card. This is your, this is what's on your head. So that's more emotional emotions come and go. And as an Aquarius, most people think Aquarius is our water sign because of the word Aquarius, right? But Aquariuses are actually air signs. So they kind of come and go with the wind. This emotion of feeling strong, you have not been feeling strong throughout summer. Now you're starting to feel strong. So, so strong. So that wind, that strong wind is coming in. You're going to have it for a little bit. It's looking at the cards. Looks like you're going to have it until November. But these cards down here are foundation cards. And this is your foundation is going to be built on partnership. So if you have a partner in life, in business, in relationship, or even in family, it, this could be a kin, this could be a, you know, a kinship card. This, I really, but how do I say this? Sometimes I stumble because I want to say things, but I don't want to say um, the wrong things. You know, I'm trying to be a little bit more PC, but you know, this, this is a kinship card. So this is somebody, I, I want to say that there is like a, a kindred spirit that can be a loved one. That could be a sibling, you know, that could be a best friend. That could be a dog, you know what I mean? But there is a kindred spirit that's going to be part of your new life, part of your new situation when this relationship does come to an end. Again, this can be love. This can be money. This can be like a business thing. So take it how it works for you. Don't you? It does not have to be absolutes. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. And don't forget to look up those three different zodiac signs because all three of those are you.
you have a rising sign, which is how you kind of enter into things. I'm a Scorpio rising sign, so I basically kick down the door and walk in like I own the place, right? And then you have a moon sign, and your moon sign is how you're going to deal with things that are under the surface, like more subconscious, more um, emotional, more uh, at what goes on inside your head, that little voice and that little chatter inside your head. Um, and then your sun sign is how you present to the world, how you really present in most situations. So that's why sun signs are, you know, typically what you call your zodiac sign, but you do have all three and they're all very part of you. So I want you to check all three of those out. Do not forget that I do these readings on the phone. I have text message readings this week. I know you're seeing this in September, but I will tell you that um, it might be listed before that. I think it's going to be, you know, I'm doing, I'm filming this in August. So I am actually doing a new tarot card reading. It's the seven day tarot card. I will tell you how things are going to go for the next seven days. Uh, you can do it over the phone. You can do a text message. I think text message is how I'm going to offer it because it's pretty quick. Um, but that's going to be a new thing. You might want to check that out. If you just, if you're anxious like me, I'm a Virgo, so I'm anxious. So if you're anxious like me, you can kind of get a quick hit of information and then keep it moving. I do have text message readings. I phone readings. So if you have a specific question, come on down. Let's get on the phone. Let's talk about it. We'll go through everything. You can tell me what's going on. We can talk about health, wealth, love, happiness, money, all that good stuff. Now on to the rest of your reading. So we go into October. October looks excellent for you. I kind of feel like you're going to be hitting your stride in October. You're going to be feeling a lot better about almost every part of your life. So, I mean, I could go into it, but it's just, the sun is shining down on you. So maybe it's going to be a warm October where you are, or it's going to be everything feels right. Finally, it feels right and it hasn't felt right in a while. But then we get into November and there is some stuff. There might be people that backstab you, or there might be um, like an old love situation that's going to come back to haunt you. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to hit that notification bell and I want you to subscribe subscribe because every single month you will get this reading completely for free. You don't have to do a damn thing. Now I'm going to move on to your Astro Dice. These are available in my Etsy store. If you stay tuned to the end of the video, I got a special surprise for you about my store. And if you go right down below, there's links to absolutely everything. Um, these are available. They come with psychic vision oil. They come with a pouch and they come with this nice little cheat sheet that you'll probably be seeing in the corner of the screen. This rolled off camera, but it is a moon, a four. And is that Sagittarius? It is Sagittarius. Um, so these tell you all the different parts of the Zodiac. It's a little tiny Zodiac reading for the moment. It's very momentary. It's not actually based on your chart. It's just very, very fun, pretty accurate too. And these are fun to pull out. I pull these out at brunch all the time. So go down below. There's my phone number. Also, if you want to get a hold of me, don't call me, but if you text me, I will get right back to you in three seconds. I can help you shop. I can send you links to stuff. We can set up an appointment. You're just going to be dealing with me and you know, we'll, we'll go from there. We'll see what you need. So fourth house is actually all about ironic foundation. Remember we were talking about these foundation cards are the most important. So it does say that your foundation is going to be coming up in September. You need to really work on your roots, your foundation. I think you had a shakeup over summer and you're definitely going to have to reestablish yourself. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that because you get to reinvent yourself however the fudge you want. Okay. So really, 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 you know, think about who do I want to be? It's kind of like when you're going from like middle school to high school and you're like, wait, I get to reinvent myself. What kind of kid am I going to be? Am I the only one that did that? I don't know. Comment down below. <laughs> or if you're going from, you know, high school to college and you're like, nobody knows me, I can be totally different. So that's something you want to think about. And again, this moon sign moon, I very much, very, very much has to do with your subconscious. Very much has to do um, with the, there is a mother element here. So you have to think about were you nurtured enough by your mother? Are you having some mother emotional stuff come in? Well, our mothers set us up for good or for bad, sometimes a little bit of both, you know? So we have to look at it and say, you know, am I, am I honoring my mother? Am I, um, doing what I need to do to nurture other people? Am I nurturing myself? There's a very emotional element here, hugely emotional element that's coming in, in September for you. But then Sagittarius is asking you, Sagittarius is the archer, right? So Sagittarius wants you to be optimistic, wants you to shoot for the far, the furthest thing. It's a very visionary sign. It's a very goal oriented sign. It's a, it's an expansive sign. So this is the time you had a shakeup. You're now kind of restructuring and you got a big, bold, badass world that's ahead of you. So that's really what I want you to focus on Aquarius. I know you've had a couple of rough readings, but I think things are really going to start to shake out for you. So if you have hung on this long, please keep hang on a little bit longer. I'm going to show you some really cool stuff I got going on. And Aquarius, you're going to have your own version of this very soon. 
I have started the Zodiac Beauty line of products. And I have, so I'm going to kind of put these here. We'll go through all of them. Aqu uh, Aries is out first. Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac, so they got out first. Um, Miss A, I don't know if you're watching. She's not, she's, she's not an Aquarius. She's an Aries. But she might, uh, she got a little pre-package. I hope she can comment and tell you how wonderful these smell and how good these are. This is like a cinnamon clove cardamom. It's like a spicy sweet and all in your beautiful uh, Aries sign uh, colors, which is fiery. They're a fire sign. Aquarius, you're going to have your own version of this. Everyone is going to be very, very, very unique and to the sign. Now, there is limited editions of all of these. So if you know an Aries, tag them in this and say, hey, after the nine minute mark, just watch it or, or you know, tag them in all the videos. I don't care. So there is a oil there is a beautiful soap. There is a gorgeous, and it's all the same scent. It's all the same. It's cardamom, cinnamon. Every zodiac sign is going to have their own. So Aquarius, if you want to give me some ideas down below of like shapes you like, of things you like, of scents you like, you know, you're going to want to you're going to want to get down there because you're going to be coming up pretty soon. And I have a votive that also matches. So you get all four of these. They do come in a set or you can buy them individually. Check the store right down below where everything is. You can get readings with me. You can get text message, phone readings. I also have spells available. Do not forget if you are watching this in August, August is the last month of the year I'm going to be having this. You get a free spell upgrade. Holy crap. Do you even know how much that's worth? Like I have spells that are, you know, $500 that double to a thousand. Okay. So if you get the level eight spell, I'm going to give you the thousand dollar spell, right? This is totally worth it. If you get the level four spell, which I think is one, don't quote me, don't quote me. It's either 135 or 140. I'm going to bump you up to the 180 spell. Okay. So, I mean, you're, there's a lot of money on the table right now, and it is the last time for the year that I will be doing this big of a discount. Get in on the spells. If you don't know what it is, just text me. I'll text you right back. It's just me. It's just little old me. I'm kind of boring. I'm not scary. I promise. I don't bite. And if I do, I charge extra. Okay. So I'll talk to you soon, Aquarius. Don't forget to subscribe and get to all the social medias. They have all sorts of little special flash sales. Talk to you soon.